afternoon, Dr. Nian Sao. To start, emotion and intelligence are two different words. As Webster defined it, it is a strong feeling and the ability to perceive logical relationships and use one's knowledge to solve problems specifically. This study entitled The Emotional Intelligence of Selected First Year Education Students in Xavier University, the Neodicagian School Year 2012-2013, shows the combination of those two different words. Standing in front of you are the researchers of the study, namely Marlon Bacullio, Adrian Bantilan, Josephine Cueva, Bethel Cueva, and Josephine Labo. Jessa Angela Mikotuan, yours truly, and Jawart Salata. Emotional intelligence, what is it? According to Salovey and Mayer, it is the ability to perceive emotions, to access and generate emotions as to assist thought, understand emotions and emotion knowledge, and to reflectively regulate emotions so as to promote emotional and intellectual growth. This study focuses on the relationship of the independent variables, namely gender, family, size, and parental presence, to emotional intelligence, wherein it will test if one is capable of paying attention to their inner feelings and to the emotion state and the emotions of others as well. This study seeks to find out if the first year education students are emotionally intelligent to be able to become an effective teacher in the future and the researchers also wanted to find out if they are capable of those characteristics or it still needs improvement. So, then achieving the goal of the needed information of emotional intelligence of our respondents, we, the researchers, considered the students' profile as our independent variables, which consists of gender, family size, and parental presence, that will create a relationship of the level of emotional intelligence. On the other hand, our dependent variable is emotional intelligence. So, gender is, uh, gender refers whether the respondent is biologically male or female. Family size refers to the number of siblings the respondents have. Parental presence refers whether the respondent is living only with his or her mother or father or both his or her parents in their house. And guardian. Emotional intelligence refers to as the ability to recognize our own feelings and those of others, motivating ourselves of managing emotions well in us and in our relationship with others. Uh, so, the significance of the study. Uh, being a teacher means that he or she can handle one's emotion and uh, us others as well. This research will be helpful to the administrators and teachers since they will be able to create various programs that would improve the emotional intelligence of the future teachers. For the students, Although many factors affect the emotional intelligence of a person, Salovey and Mayer emphasizes that emotional intelligence can be improved and nourished like other intelli intelligences. That is why it would be helpful to the students since knowing their strengths and weaknesses when it comes to handling emotions would enable them to enhance their way of dealing with others. Uh, for the parents and community, it would it will help them nurture their children with an understanding that feelings can help them grow as individuals. They also would learn to make a conscious effort of raising their children with awareness and responsibility for their own emotion, emotional reactions and responses. So, our research design in this study, we use the correlational <coughs> method of research, so we want to to find out the relationship or the gender of our independent variables and the uh, dependent variables which um, our independent variables as methods say that gender, family size and parental presence and our independent variable which is um, emotional intelligence. So our research team 
So this research will be done in, in Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan, Morales Avenue, Cagayan New York City. Then respondents, our respondents is the selected first year education students. Students. Then. For the sampling procedure, the researchers show um, use the purposive non-probability sampling for male because in, in this study, there is this portion that the gender has to have an equal respondence between male and female. So since the number of um, male students in education um, are just limit, is just limited to 35, we will get approximately 30 of them to show um, um, if there are some errors at least there's um, reliability with regards to the number of respondents. And then simple probability random sampling for female, uh, family size and parental presence, since we will only get a portion of the total population from, a portion of it from the total population. Data gathering instrument and procedure. <coughs> the questionnaire that will be used in the data gathering will be the trait metamode scale, which is made by Salovey and Mayer, which, which developed to provide an index of individual differences. This involves monitoring, evaluating, and regulating feelings and emotions. This, also <clears throat> this is also supported to measure the three cognitive components, which are the ability, uh, attention to feelings, clarity, and repair. After uh, the the researchers, the researchers will, be, will then get the approval of the Dean of Education so that we can get the list of population per block of the first year education students. Then after determining the number of respondents, the researcher, researchers will then approach the instructor of the first year education students if we can have an survey then the researchers will then provide the questionnaire. Uh, for the scoring guidelines, uh, based on the question there, we are the, we are the subsequent the components of the intelligence of the individual and how to read them based on the standards. Uh, in table A, uh, for the coding, uh, in strong, strongly agree, agree, we code it 5 and somewhat agree 4. And in neither agree or nor disagree, the code is 3 and somewhat disagree. Two and slowly second one. Uh, yeah. Table will be a level of emotional intelligence. Uh, we read it uh, three. Uh, the, it is excellent. The, we score it uh, 150 to 91 and can handle emotions but could just move. Uh, we score it 90 to 31 and needs to work on emotions. 30%. For the statistical methods that the researchers are going to uh, will use first is the Slovens formula. Slovens formula will be used in the research in order for the researchers to be able to get the number of respondents that will represent the whole population of the, fir um, of the first year students, um, specifically in the School of Education. Uh, also, we're, we're going to use the mean and standard deviation and Z-test and F-test to determine the relationship between the independent variables to the dependent variable, which is emotional intelligence. Then, uh, 